when i started my youtube channel i uh, i had to speak everything in english i used to think like i i oh my god now how can i start my journey so but slowly and gradually i'm getting little bit fluency <laughs> i mean not doing. little bit but you are speaking very well you have the fluency and that's why i wanted to connect with you because when i have seen your videos uh, i actually don't go random uh, i mean i don't choose random yeah, yeah i got it i got i, I got to you i got yeah, so whenever i see that somebody is speaking very well so i try to connect i don't with speak very, but i try to speak very well i want to get that fluency which others have they run very fast with their words so sometimes i listen from many coach they say like there is no need to run fast there is no need to drag your words if you are comfortable you are comfortably speaking if you are able to make others understand what you are saying if you are able to continue your conversation for 30 minutes or more than 30 that, that is your fluency so there is yes, no yes. worry about there others are, uh, are there speaking. are some people actually think that if they can speak with a very spe uh, with speed yeah it is I no think, i don't think it is fluency fluency is that you have to make the person that you are talking to understand and with a calm and composed manner taking pauses with intonation so that is called fluency this and is a nice way this is a nice way it seems very cute very smart way because when we listen any podcast like very uh, like there are many vip person uh, if we listen their podcast so they speak in a very calm way relax they are very yes, relaxed yes, like talk yes, so yes, i yes. need to run fast but i sometimes i realize that i run fast Okay, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. After a long Welcome time, at last, I could. Sir. How are you? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am good. I am okay. good. I am. I am doing well. Yes, good, sir. Thank you for asking. How about you, ma'am? I am also great, sir. Thanks for asking. So we are connecting for the very first time. So may I know about you? Would you mind introducing yourself? Sure, sure. I am going to tell you about myself. So my name is Vashpal, and I live in Guwahati, in the state of Assam. So I have recently retired from my job. I am a retired government servant. Wow. And so far as learning spoken English, I am very much enthusiastic about this. So I, uh, you can say I, I have a passion for learning this language. And that's why I always try to connect with the core learners. And I take uh, tuition with the tutors also on various platforms. Okay. And other than that, I have a hobby like uh, I love to travel. And I love to watch cricket matches. So this is all about me, ma'am. Oh, that's amazing. So you are a retired person. So what was your job? I was an employee in Indian Audit and Accounts Department under the Controller and Auditor General of India. So at the time of retirement, I was holding the post of Senior Accounts Officer. Wow. Um, that was... <laughs> Good question. So today I can say I will learn so many things from you because you have experience about so many things. So I will definitely learn many things from you. Okay, sir, as you told that uh, you are enthusiastic to learn this language. So how long have you been learning this language? But I can say that uh, you you have been speaking this language for many years because it's not a, a few months work that you are speaking now. <laughs> exactly. Yes, you are right. Uh, I have been uh, learning this uh, spoken part particularly for the last three years uh, it has been more than three years now so i was taking session with uh, uh, tutors on clapingo app and still i have been taking it is still going on mm -hmm. so meanwhile i also try to contact with the core learners when i watch their videos and i find them very uh, like you that they speak very well so i always have a, uh, this wish to meet them so that i can learn from them also okay that's good my next question is um uh, ma'am before going further uh, if you please give your introduction that will be nice i think okay okay sure sir sorry for that my name is mansi gola i'm from delhi uh, i'm a homemaker as well as i'm a uh, teacher also i have been teaching this language since 2010 so i can say i have uh, knowledge about my field and uh, yes i'm running youtube channel also the name of uh, my channel is housewife english corner so i have my facebook page also with the same name housewife english corner that's all about me and recently okay. it's been two years i have started uh, teaching online also so what do you teach ma'am i teach english sir 
okay okay so uh, teaching, everything teaching, i mean teaching both are the different thing you know teaching english and speaking english both are the different thing so i am teaching i have been teaching since 2010 but if i talk about my speaking part so it's been only 4 to 5 years i have been trying to speak in this language willingly willingly <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you are speaking very well. And so, as you mentioned, that you teach like uh, grammar and all these things, subject wise. Grammar and speaking also. I make them understand how they can speak because they all have knowledge. Everybody has knowledge because we all have learning English since our childhood. We were taught as a subject in our schools, but we was not taught as a uh, language. So we don't know how to speak, how to communicate with anyone. so it's very uh, like uh, now important to make them understand how they can communicate uh, with their uh, easy words which they have already in their mind yes ma'am so i had also this misconception uh, i mean when i was uh, as i mentioned that i am very much uh, interested in learning english but i devoted my time in writing so i okay. uh, learned new words and i put them in writing and since i was working in a government office so i had this uh, face, uh, opportunity to write letters and other things for communication to different government offices so what happened that i always uh, thought that if i can write i can speak but when it came to speaking <laughs> i <laughs> i found it work. i am zero i i i just can't utter a single yeah. sentence properly then every i realized that all things are important every individual things is important writing listening speaking and uh, reading also so if we want to speak we have to speak anyhow we have to open our mouth we have to speak out loud then we will be able to speak so if we want to improve our writing skills then we need to write <laughs> yes so that's yeah. what i was doing and i was very much uh, satisfied with my uh, effort and the result also but when it came to speaking i found myself i i am nothing i am zero oh. then i thought i have to do something about speaking that so true. that's why i am trying <laughs> now you are so fluent in this language okay sir now you got retirement and uh, now you are obviously you are enjoying your life so uh, what are your future goals <laughs> do you okay, have sure. or not? yeah 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 i have uh, two three goals like uh, right now one is going on uh, so i am living in my house on the ground floor so i have been constructing my first floor this work is going on that is one thing and i have as you uh, told you that uh, my hobby is to travel so i have traveled many places in india uh, but i have never been to any foreign country so there okay. is uh, one goal that i would uh, complete in next to 3 years i uh, i think so and other than that i have another hobby i would not say hobby but i like to do trading in share market or investing in share market that is also wow. i am doing i like it <laughs> that that good okay so in which country would you like to visit uh i i think i would like to visit i mean i want to visit uh, some european countries particularly yes, like say if i may have to mention uh, in uk uh, london then in france paris um, wow. switzerland these are also my favorite countries <laughs> <laughs> i have yeah. this uh, in my mind let's see what happens <laughs> yeah in future after my husband retirement i will also try to visit other country yeah yeah sure sure yeah. before that you know uh, long back i uh, acquired my passport and we thought we were three or four uh, colleagues that we thought that we would go to at least bangkok because thailand is very near to our uh, near to india so it is not very costly also so that was yeah. uh, our plan but it did not happen so after 10 years my passport uh, validity has gone then okay. <laughs> again i have renewed it uh, now see what happens so how many children do you have sir i have two uh, children my uh, elder one is son and younger one is a daughter uh, she is doing her study in your place uh, delhi under du she is doing her bsc in gargi college okay gargi college is near to my home <laughs> okay it's okay only, it's take only 15 minutes to reach there 
she is uh, staying in a pg which is near to uh, like uh, green park uh, metro station okay 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 that's good so have you ever been to delhi obviously yeah yeah several times uh, time. like four five times not uh, because of my daughter but before that okay. i went to uh, many places delhi and other places also even uh, next uh, october i uh, i have already planned to visit delhi mathura vrindavan uh, agra and nainital and you must belong to vrindavan ah uh, vrindavan yes. yes and nainital also so it has already been planned tickets have been done so it is on okay. the cards okay okay so what is your favorite place in india which one is your favorite uh, till now i was state uh na place if i if you ask me place so i would obviously say uh, kashmir okay. srinagar okay so have you ever been there yes yes i have been there yeah uh, okay sir so uh, tell me about anything which you like enjoy a lot now it is i am enjoying a lot speaking with uh, people so okay. i get to know about them i have spoken with so many uh, people so from various parts of our country so we get to know when you speak with them their perspective also now as i get to know that you are in delhi you are a teacher uh, you had also a plan to visit uh, a foreign country future so all these things uh, <laughs> makes us something <laughs> uh, so you know my husband the transferable job so within 4 years we go to this place to another place so i love this you know so uh, in that case you have uh, uh, visited many places i think so is, uh, till now uh, with my husband i have visited only two places okay with okay. my husband so two, two more than two more than two like or only visiting papas we have covered many places but because uh, of his job we have covered only two places <laughs> okay okay So have you ever been to this part of our country like northeast region never northeast uh, so we 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 was in chatisgarh uh northeast part means like uh, assam meghalaya no northeast part we, we never went there uh, but i have been uh, but uh, that is not in north i think na no? uh, uh, nainital punjab <laughs> oh that was so in your uh, side yeah yeah yes. <laughs> So I've you would love been. to visit if you come here. Yeah, I Meghalaya. love to visit Assam. Yeah, Assam and Meghalaya also. Meghalaya has many yes, places yes, yes. to offer. Because Those my places. friend, they belong to Assam and Meghalaya. They talk about their place too much. Ma'am, you should come here. You should visit uh, visit this place. And there are so many temples, and you will you would love this place. So I definitely want to go there. <laughs> this is yes, my yes. dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should come, and you would love it. Yeah. And even in arunachal pradesh also there are so many places of tourist interest yes those who love to weather uh, is also quite good yes weather is quite good uh, okay sir so uh, there are many learners I, they are doing their graduation or post graduation i'm talking about those so they have many dreams you know but uh, they are totally confused how should i start doing something to achieve that goal so how can they reach to their goal how can they reach uh, the success in any field so what should uh, what should they do to achieve the goal so some of them they are very busy to do friendship to do parties and watching movies they are very fancy how can they achieve to their goal how can they get anything easily easily i would not say easily no, but not uh, easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah one should have uh, one should have his goal first he one should choose his goal that i am going to Uh, go to this uh, field that is one because if you are not interested in doing something it is it will be very difficult to achieve that one so first okay. of all you have to have the interest in that particular field first you choose this one then you try to uh, achieve so how can you achieve there are so many process then how easily you can do this uh, so you have to follow all these uh, things you have to make plans and then you have to make it, uh, you have to implement all these plans and focus is must uh, so that nothing as you say that they are parting they are busy with uh, social media so all those things you one should not uh, uh, one should not avoid 
it could help. We should, we should do a little bit. Yes. At the same time, but our main focus would be on our goal. And our so that's how we can uh, achieve. Because if you are not focused and if you are distracted by the things that, because we get to see so many things uh, around us and all of these actually uh, distract us and we can easily go away from our plan. So one should be very uh, disciplined to go for his goal. That's what I have seen in my case also, because uh, my son, uh, what uh, after doing his graduation engineering, uh, he did in uh, what is called electronic and communication. So after that, he tried uh, to uh, uh, try to do his uh, M Tech, but uh, he did he could not do well in gate exam. So that he did not get a very good uh, institute. So he, he he just left yeah. this one. Then he thought that I should go for a job. And what he did, uh, whole day, uh, he was busy with his study uh, online. I, I told him that you can go for uh, this uh, offline studies to any like Hyderabad, Delhi, or wherever there are so many institutions. But he was. Uh, focusing on online studies and from morning to night, he was busy doing that. So at last he got a job. Uh, so that is, I think that since his focus in that area, in that field, so he achieved that one. So that's how we can yes. achieve it, really. Yes, yes, yes. We should have the focus, what we want to do. And there should be clear yeah. in our mind that my goal is that, I have to achieve that goal anyhow. My aim is to achieve that goal. Then we can achieve our goal because there are so many things we can attract toward that easily. Like yes. social media, Facebook, Instagram, there is that there are many things. And it seems so interesting, you know. <laughs> so it, it's very <laughs> even difficult in, to even in my case, you see, I, I am at this age. Okay, now I am a senior citizen, but still when I open Facebook or something. And once I start watching uh, reels, I never uh, realized that realize I have already I... <laughs> passed one hour or two hours. So this you happens. Yes, <laughs> it happens to everyone. <laughs> so now you think that about the uh, young people. When yes. an old person <laughs> is so distracted, <laughs> get distracted. You will, not so. lose, you will not lose many things. But if we talk about young generation, they might lose lots of things if they use social media all the day, every time. So yes. they will not become anything. OK, sir, one more, one more question. How anybody uh, can be a disciplined person in their life? Like, uh, what should they do? What should they tongue twister? It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> what should they do to be uh, punctual? OK, that is, again, uh, time management. So you have to uh, arrange your time. So how can you, within the uh, available time, how can you maintain your day-to-day -day work? And if you, I ask you my personal opinion, so if I have to be disciplined, so I would tell them that first you go to bed early and get up early. And after getting up, at least you should go for a walk. Even half an hour will be a very good one. That will keep your mind fresh. And if you have the passion to do meditation, like, uh, meditation that like. will be a great thing to do. I tried, but I couldn't. I fail in that. <laughs> you are really fit. You are uh, actually fit, sir. But I tried uh, when I start to meditate, meditation. all these thoughts, uh, yeah. really, I, I, I it's couldn't. It's very, very difficult. Yeah, it is yeah. very difficult. So oh. if anybody can do that, that will be a great thing to do. And discipline life, you see, as I already told you, that there are so many dis distractions are there. So you have to be careful about those. Now, if you open your uh, mobile phone, internet, and you know, the young people, the students, they get to act, they have the access to many uh, unwanted things, uh, which we which they should not watch, actually. So easily they can get uh, distracted. So that is the main thing. How can you control yourself? If one can Maybe. do that, 
that would be a disciplined life and you will get success definitely yes yes very true discipline should be there in everybody's life then yes. they can easily manage everything and then they can easily identify their goal also what they have to do in their life otherwise if we don't know about discipline if we are not punctual if we don't know what is the goal of my life so we can't do anything we will waste our time every day and uh, one day we will oh. regret about our past that what we did yes yes we did nothing regret or uh, we can say repent also yes yeah so we should not do we should uh, we should have goal we should have discipline in our life these two things are really important <laughs> Okay, sir. So, so and yes. Yeah. So before ending, I just wanted to know how long have you been speaking online with the uh, learners? You know, sir. Seriously, so I have started this journey uh, in two thousand two December, twenty eighth of December, I think, in two thousand two. It's been two years. So two thousand twenty two. Two thousand twenty two. Twenty two December. Yes. At that time, nobody was doing these type of things, but now. everybody is doing the same thing so it's good <laughs> i have been teaching since 2010 so i am very good in teaching you know i can easily make you understand that what is the what is this grammar and how you, you can use it but when it come to speak in this language it's quite difficult but uh, not now when i started my youtube channel i uh, i had to speak everything in english i used to think like i i oh my god now how can i start my journey so but slowly and gradually i'm getting little bit fluency <laughs> i mean not little bit but you are speaking very well you have the fluency and that's why i wanted to connect with you because when i have seen your videos uh, i actually don't go random uh, i mean i don't choose random yeah, yeah i got it i got i, I got you i got yeah, so whenever i see that somebody is speaking very well so i try to connect i don't with speak very but i try to speak very well i want to get that fluency which others have they run very fast with their words so sometimes i listen from many coaches they say like there is no need to run fast there is no need to drag your words if you are comfortable you are comfortably speaking if you are able to make others understand what you are saying if you are able to continue your conversation for 30 minutes or more than 30 that, that is your fluency so there is yes, no yes. Worry about there other. Are uh, there speak. are some people actually think that if they can speak with a very spe uh, with speed, yeah, it is and no. Then, I don't think it is fluency. Fluency is that you have to make the person that you are talking to understand and with a calm and composed manner, taking pauses with intonation. So that is called fluency. This and is a nice way. This is a nice way. It seems very cute, very smart way. because when we listen any podcast like very uh, like there are many vip person uh, if we listen their podcast so they speak in a very calm way relax they are very yes, relaxed yes, like talk yes, so i yes, yes. need to run fast but i sometimes i realize it i run fast you know the native speaker the foreigners they speak very slowly i have taken yes. some uh, classes with them also on kemli app so from some uh, of them from usa then uh, south africa they speak very slowly yes each and every word is uh, understandable okay the so family is a really expensive app is very expensive when i uh, first uh, taken it was around 15 minutes class uh, 250 like that but now it has uh, gone to 400 or 450 so i have stopped <laughs> taking classes it is not affordable okay, watching the all the uh, details i i thought like no i don't need this type of school classes <laughs> <laughs> i don't have much money uh, curious actually is, uh, at least uh, i will have an opportunity to speak with them so that's why yeah we should try <laughs> we should try <laughs> we should have all the all kind of experience good experience yes yes it's yes, sure. it's uh, it was nice session with you we'll reconnect again very soon i can uh, like i hope that my learners will learn many things from this video and hope it will have a lot to them thank you so okay, much okay ma'am so i would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity i have been trying to uh, connect with you for a long time but it was not happening in any uh, anyway at last for that. <laughs> yeah, at last today we could meet thank you very much for that okay sir bye bye take care have a good day bye bye have a good day